Good afternoon, sir. Are you Jewish? Do any of you Jewish by any chance? Excuse me, sir. Are you Jewish? Everything in the world is created for a good purpose. And therefore, even a tank, which is seemingly a bad thing, it's a weapon of war, we want to use it out and transform it for a good purpose. Instead of going to the synagogue, we bring the synagogue to you. These young men follow the teachings of Chabad Lubavitch, a nearly 300-year-old movement within Orthodox Judaism. It is headquartered here at 770 Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn, New York. This is where the mitzvah tanks began, when in 1974, some young Lubavitchers suggested they outfit trucks with the bare essentials for prayer. Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the spiritual leader, dubbed them mitzvah tanks, and they've been on the streets ever since. The ultimate goal that we're all waiting for is to bring the Mashiach, the Messiah that we're all waiting for. Excuse me, are you Jewish? People are depressed today. People are walking around. Everybody has their worries and their headaches. And the mitzvah tank idea is a warm, comfortable home environment in the hustle and bustle of Fifth Avenue. I know these guys for a long time, so when I'm walking by, I'll always make sure I stop and go in. Every time I drink water, I'm supposed to say this? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't. Like, with a busy life I have, it's a little bit difficult. I don't really have the time, so this gives me an opportunity to actually partake in some Jewish rituals that I wouldn't normally have time to do. We set up shop. There's 4,000 you know, bases, let's say, all over the world. We look at the mitzvah tanks as the frontline Marines. On the morning of April 14th, 61 mitzvah tanks gather behind the headquarters in Crown Heights, one for each year since the late Rabbi Schneerson's ascension to leadership. I'm taking care of the drivers. Ellie Goldstein, Ellie Goldstein. Let me tell you where your tank is. Yishai Alifia is the general of mitzvah tank 13. He will be driving his tank past Chabad Lubavitch Jews who come from all over the world for the start of the annual parade. You really feel the power and energy, you feel it in the air, it's electric. They really believe what, they, what they're doing, they're into it with their whole heart. No one's asking them or pushing them or this is from them. I'm lucky enough to run the Mitzvah Tank organization and it's a big obligation. They want more. You think they're happy with 61? No. It's amazing. You would think all these people, they're stuck in traffic, they have to wait. They are happy, they're waving, they're smiling, and I love it. How are you doing? Take care. The tanks weave through Brooklyn and Manhattan, and then disperse to different positions throughout the city. We do what's called Mufsayim, we do outreach. Each tank is loaded with Passover matzah, as well as Jewish literature. We go out there asking everyone, are you Jewish? And about just spreading Passover, Passover awareness throughout the world. I want two guys stationed over there, two guys stationed over there, and two guys across the street. Yeah, help me park. I can barely see. Okay, listen up. Each one of you get a bucket. Yes. Hi. Hello, I live how are here. you? Yes. Can you lower the volume? Oh, we can do that. Sure. Please. No problem. Thank you. Give me a second. I'm going to have to take care oh. of this, and then we'll do that. It was psychotic. I'm trying to work. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what's your name? Peter. My name's Yitzhak. Nice to meet you. Hi. Are how you are Jewish you? by any chance? No. And oh, when people no, see that's coming from the heart, nice. they say that words that come from the heart enter the heart. That's good. So there's all sorts of responses. Some people, they're just so overcome when they see the innocence and the purity of the youngsters and they come and they think it's so adorable they can't help themselves but just go and do it in the mitzvah. Are you Jewish? No. Have a great wow. day. You know what that means? I'm Jewish. That means I'm you're Hebrew Jewish. Israeli. That is amazing. Yeah. Welcome on board. We got this is called tefillin. These are leather boxes that it has in it scrolls, portions from the Bible. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, if you can roll up your sleeve, it's like a Jewish blood pressure. And we're going to repeat, repeat after me. We make a short blessing. Baruch. Baruch. Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Malach. Malach. Ha'olam. Ha'olam. Asher. Asher. Are you Jewish? Jewish? Shema, Shema Yisrael, Yisrael Adonai, Adonai Eloheinu, Eloheinu Adonai, Adonai Echad. Echad. Now this in English, we want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. Mashiach is the Messiah, that's what we're waiting for. I think in New York we see it all, so I don't think anything surprises us, so I don't think people look at this and see anything that odd, because you can walk two blocks down and see something a lot more odd, so this is not, this is New York. Good afternoon, sir, are you Jewish? Nope. Have a wonderful weekend. You have on one hand, the evil things that are there in the world nowadays, and then you have the goodness and light of the mitzvot and the other half of the scale. And when we do a mitzvah, we believe that this could be the last, the last mitzvah that will tip the scale and usher in the messianic era with the ultimate goodness and kindness. <laughs>